After 37 years at my job, I finally retired. Woohoo! For the last five years, I've been talking about a doing a cross-country road trip in the western part of the United States, and it's finally time. We're about to do it. His wish is coming true. Announcing your plans. It's a good way to hear God man. All right, so we went out and we purchased the perfect vehicle for Dan's dream road trip. It's awesome. It's got a ton of stuff in it. It's got a bathroom, kitchen, shower. <laughs> it's got a nice awning, so on those hot sunny days out there in the desert, we'll have something to keep a little bit of shade to keep us cool. And it's got four-wheel drive, it's got dually rear wheels, it's got pretty good ground clearance, so when Rose tells me, hey, let's see what's down that road, because that, you do that to me all the time when we're I in the Caribbean. That. I love going off-road where there's nobody around and we get to explore and find new things. One of the reasons we got this particular van, but we're ready to go. We've got, the, we've got the right vehicle. Hopefully we've got all the right equipment. Yep. We're probably gonna half fast a lot of it. And, but you know, it's a learning experience. We're gonna see what we, if, if we. Uh, yep. And that's who we are. Yeah. So I, I don't even I'm know excited. What to say. I'm ready to yeah. go. I'm a little nervous. I gotta say, I'm a little nervous. Come on. But now this is gonna be a road trip across America to the West Coast. It's the perfect retirement itinerary. Yep. We are going to go see a lot of places. In fact, in this video, we're going to show you exactly where we plan on going. Pretty much. And we're going to be filming the whole thing. So I'll get the videos out as quick as I possibly can. Yep. I don't know how much work I'm going to be able to do in the van. But we hope you guys will come along with us and support us. Yep. And have lots of fun. Yeah. We're going to try to make it entertaining. So we'll see you on the road. Hey there, I'm Rose. And I'm Dan. And, and we, we are, are the Half-Ass half -ass Travelers. Travelers. Rose and I are going to walk you through our trip planning on the map. Say hi, Rose. We have our first week pretty much planned out, but the rest of it's kind of up in the air. But we're going to give you a general outline. First things first, we're going to start out at our home in sunny South Florida. We're going to travel through Everglades National Park. Oh, we're going to get to see alligators? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if they're being shy. Then we're going to travel up and we're going to boondock in St. Petersburg. Then we're going to make a stop in Donellan, Florida where we're also going to boondock. Yes, that's not too far from Orlando. Driveway boondocking. Our next stop will be somewhere along the Gulf Coast, east of Panama City. We're not really sure where yet. We're looking at a few places. you have any ideas, Rose? No, but it sounds exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> After that, we're going to be stopping in Destin, Florida, which is uh, right by, uh, I think, Pensacola is where it is. Yeah. Right along, again, along, along the beach. Along the panhandle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, we're going to Biloxi. Ooh, get out those casino chips, baby. Yeah, we're not big gamblers, but we do like to play from time to time. We'll probably stay in a hotel in Biloxi. And after Biloxi, we're going to, we're not sure yet. We're going to go west and try to get to Texas. We'll see how long we can handle driving together for, through the state of Louisiana, but uh, we're looking somewhere on Bolivar, Bolivar Beach, um, you know, just shy of Galveston Island. And then after that, we're going to try to go through Galveston Island. I'd like to take a look. Yeah, and, me too. Yeah. And we're going to end up in San Antonio, where we're going to... The Alamo. You remember the Alamo? Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> we'll, we'll go look for the bicycle. <laughs> after the Alamo, uh, we're going to take a stop at the Caverns of Sonora. At least that's the plan. Oh, I'm an official spelunker, you know. She's a spelunker. After that, we're going to go down to Big Bend National Park. We're going to spend a couple days there. We actually have a reservation in the lodge. Um, Sounds it, really hot and steamy. It, it it shouldn't be too bad. I think the lodge is at elevation. so oh, that's, that, that's good. We'll see how it goes. All right. After that, after we're done in Big Bend, we're going to head up to Carlsbad Caverns and do some more spelunking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're here. It's beautiful, and we hope it lives up to that. 
We're not sure if we're going to go to Roswell. I know you love. I know you love that stuff. Yeah, well, aliens. I guess we'll never know if no. we don't go. <laughs> uh, I think we're actually going to end up going through Ros Roswell. And then after that, White Sands National Park. Yep. Got to go see those dunes. Dunes. I'd like to. You. Yeah, that's your favorite movie, isn't it? Mm, not One of your not my favorite, but it's a good movie. The new one's awesome. No worms out there, right? All right, you're getting me off the subject. Let's get back. Let's get back to where we are. <laughs> after that, we might go through Gila or Apache National Forest. Um, right. Depends on where, what route we take, but we're going to end up in Tombstone. I know what you're thinking, Tombstone. It's kind of touristy. Wait but a minute. You're not looking... bringing a shovel, are you? No. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Call me Wyatt. I'll leave you a marker. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, after Tombstone, then we're going to go start heading north. We're going to go up to Sedona area. Not sure what we're going to do in Sedona yet. Probably a few trails. What do you think? That sounds really good. Yeah. We're going to go to the Grand Canyon after that? It's a possibility. We've been, but no, we, we might have to go by again just to, just to. Yeah. That sounds good. Just to do it again. It was really awesome. All right. All right. But the real big stop is after the Grand Canyon when we're going to go to Page, Arizona. And that's where Horseshoe Bend is and, more importantly, Antelope Canyon. Rose has been talking about Antelope Canyon for like a year now. That's the only place I really want to go because it's so amazing. Now, we understand it's a little it can be a little difficult to get on the tour there. But even if we have to stay there a couple of days to get a tour date, we're definitely going to do that. After we leave Page, we're going to go pass through Monument Valley on our way to Four Corners, uh, and then maybe over to Mesa Verde in Colorado. Uh, i got to stand on all four corners, and I hear Mesa Verde is really How about cool. if, I, if I stand on one state and you stand in the other state? We can right have a long-distance relationship. That's right. All right. Sounds like a plan. After, after Mesa Verde, we're going to head up to the Moab area. Uh, Canyonlands, looking forward to that. That's beautiful. Arches, going to try to hit arches. I don't know if we're going to get to Glen Canyon or Capitol Reef. We'll see how the time goes. But yeah. Rose may be mountained out by then. We'll see. Yeah. But Bryce Canyon, definitely. which we've been to, we're going back. We're definitely going back. That, that place was absolutely amazing. It was really cool. What do they call those little figures? I can't remember what it was. But they were really cool. After that, Zion, we did not. We drove We drove past Zion last yeah, time, but we, we didn't get go. to go. We're but going this time. That's definitely a to-do list for sure. Yeah. And you know where we're going next after that? Viva Las Vegas! Vegas. Yeah, we got to go. We're, we'll probably spend a couple days. We, we're gonna need. <laughs> we're going to need some civilization after all that time in Utah. We'll probably stay in Vegas a couple days. We might do the Valley of Fire or Red Rock Canyon. While we're there, do a couple hikes, but uh, you're, we're probably going to need to decompress by then. I would say a nice hot shower and a really cool hotel by then. Yeah, I think we could. I think we could fit that into the schedule. Yeah. Okay, so after Las Vegas, Death Valley. I don't know. It's going to be. I don't know. It's gonna, we're going to be there. almost into May. That's going to be hot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we got to see it though. We have to go see it. So we'll brave Death Valley. I don't know if we're going to be in the van. Death Valley, or if we're even going to oh. stay, we may be just driving through, but we'll see how it works out. After Death Valley, we're going to head west into California yep. to Sequoia National Forest, through there up to Yosemite. I understand Yosemite can be a little tough to get in, get into, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. We'll see, we'll see, see what happens. Yeah. After that, it's a little up in the air. It's going to depend on how Rose is feeling right then. Whether or not we're going to head further west into Napa or Sedona. Well, you're going to ask me if I want to go to wine country? Uh, Is that I'll what ask, you're saying? I can ask you now and I know what your answer will be. <laughs> but I'll ask you then and we'll see what your answer is. After a month in, or two in the van with me, forget about it. Um, but if we do go over to Napa, then we'll go up the uh, coast to the Redwoods National Park. And possibly up even along the Oregon coast because I hear hey, it's really nice. Does that mean that I could drive through that really tall tree? Um, well, you can drive yourself through it, but the RV's not going to fit. Oh, that's right. Well, who knows? We'll just rent you a tricycle, and right. then you can ride through it. I'll just walk through it. That would be cool. All right, so after we're done playing over on the on the West Coast, then we're going to start turning east again. And we're going to – now, 
on my list of to-do things is Glacier National Park. Rose doesn't like cold, but I want to see as much as we can. I understand the road doesn't open, that, that go to the Sun Road or, or whatever it's called, doesn't open till mid-July. It's only open for a couple months, so we may not be able to do that depending on what time we get there. But I hear it's really beautiful, and I'd love to be able to see as much of the park as we can. Are hey, you down with that? You know. You'll bring a jacket. You know. We're, this is not going to be our last trip. Yeah, we can always go back. It's so far. All right, after after Glacier, then we're going to head south into Yellowstone. Uh, that park is definitely on our list. Is that Old Faithful? Yes. <gasps> yes, and that's where Chris is going to be a paramedic. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we have a friend who is going to be a paramedic for, I think, eight months out of the year. Yeah. So he will be there by then. We're going to go. We're going to go visit him maybe a uh, boondock in yeah. his in his area there yeah i don't know we'll see we're also going to take a peek at grand teton i hear that's really awesome and then after we're done playing around in western wyoming we're going to head over to eastern wyoming over by moorcroft because i have to see devil's tower oh yeah close encounters of the third kind was one of my favorite movies growing up what was it all the mashed potatoes what didn't he build that Little mountain out of mashed potatoes, or was it dirt? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was mashed potatoes and dirt, and a pillow, I think too. <laughs> I don't know. That, one of my favorite movies. We have to go see Devil's Tower. I got to do the hike around it, or at least up to it. Uh, something that's been on my bucket list since I was a kid. After we're done playing there, then we get to go to see, visit Al Swearingen. Oh yeah, Deadwood. Love that show. Gotta go to Deadwood. Uh, we love the TV show and the movie. And the movie, yeah. Yeah, we just got to go out there to do it. Then we'll head south down to Mount Rushmore. We might do Cave uh, Cave of the Winds. I think that's what it's called, Cave of the Winds Park. Um, not certain yet. By that time, Rose is probably going to be about fed up with me and wanting to throw me out of the van, so we'll just have to play it by ear. By then, I've already flown home. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, that wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. If Rose told me when we get to the last stop on our trip that, hey, I'll, you just bring the van back. I'll meet you. <laughs> I'll meet you at home. <laughs> After that, we only have really one other stop planned. We're going to head east through South Dakota over to Badlands. Uh, Paul and Vince went there. My brothers went there uh, years ago, and they said it was really cool. So bad, so bad, you know it. Yeah. Oh, I was just tossing that in there. Uh, that's good. Don't quit your day job. I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you think of Rose's singing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. After we're done in Badlands, we're pretty up, up, pretty much open up. We don't know. We, we might visit some people that we know uh, in Tennessee, possibly North Carolina. My uncle's in South Carolina. I know he. I don't think he's going to be there. Actually, he's going to be on his own RV trip. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're not certain. We're going to make our way back home. Uh, Rose is going to be dying to get get back and see the grandbaby, and we're going to have plenty of things to do when we get back here so yeah so that's pretty much the plan uh, we're hoping to get all this done it as you can look at the map and see this is a very optimistic plan we have a lot here to do and see it's we know it's going to take us several months to do it we're hoping we can get this entire thing done we're going to keep our fingers crossed and our toes and and everything else that we can cross and one way or another we're going to get this done. If we don't get it done on the, this trip, we'll add it to the second trip. Yes, I but agree. Either way, we're going to have a great time. And you guys will get to join us. Bucket list trip. Thank you so much for keeping tuned to this long, rather longish video. We hope you'll continue to support us. Leave a like and think about subscribing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.